All right, we're at the Moabi Air and Space Port in Moabi, California. And there's some place outside here. Here's a Convair jet that NASA was using for training. Let's have a look. You are not gonna believe what I saw. What did you see? That airplane there was used to test the landing gear of a space shuttle and it's got this the, those landing gear are locked down and all these panels have been made and all this apparatus to mount they took a main landing gear off of a space shuttle and they mounted it to this thing and left the landing gear locked and did all this other structure in there to support that and they used it to test landings and to get a higher rating for crosswinds and they actually took that off of an actual space shuttle and when they were done with it, it went back onto a different space shuttle, flew more missions, and landed. And meanwhile, this aircraft... <laughs> and then on the other side, that F-4 Phantom? Yeah. That was a drone. So that aircraft, they made thousands of those planes, right? Flew and when, they were, when, the, when the F-15 Eagle came out, it retired that, the F-4 Phantoms. And those got made into targeting drones here at this airport. 316 were converted. And they would have flown that way and got shot down over Area 51. And the, the, all that whole area is massive, massive area. And that's where the... Because fighter jets going Mach 2 shooting down other fighter jets going Mach 2. That, that's, what, that's literally what they did. Go USA! USA? You want to give me a pin? A pin? Okay. We are going up. The highway towards Los. No, we're going to uh, we're going to Balls Eight. The Boeing mothership. It has a it has its own thing. It's Twenty four minutes down the road. That was fun. Okay. That was really good. I mean, that was really good. Like, wow. I'm sorry it took so long, but I got oh, into structure. Good. I got into structures over there. Okay. Great plaque. This jet was used by NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center, Edwards, California, as a landing systems research aircraft, the LSRA. It was used in 93 and 94 to flight test space shuttle landing gear and braking systems. It was modified with a main gear landing leg and tire from the space shuttle Enterprise installed between this aircraft's main landing gear. Tests were conducted at Edwards Air Force Base, which is just over there, and at the Kennedy Space Center, which is in Florida. The results allowed the crosswind limits of the orbiter, orbiters to be increased from 15 to 20 knots. The borrowed shuttle landing gear was reinstalled on the Enterprise, which remains on museum display. So that is a fantastic story. So this aircraft had a space shuttle landing gear installed underneath it and they tested it and got it certified for higher crosswind landing this is an adaption to get the space shuttle landing gear to mount <laughs> you can walk right in here and landing gear bay where those big bogeys swing up into but something tells me that they left them down at all times for this test. I bet you these landing gears were down and locked for the whole test. I'll have to find out more about it. And some extra telemetry. The Brana. They've obviously disconnected it all and just um, tied off the ends and bundled it up here. They could maybe use it again if they ever had to do it. Pretty cool. No, that's a wow. That's a wow. Anything wet on this one? I don't know. And um, it's got some. Um, this is these. This is all after installed. It's got lights out of the wing tips and lights lights up this whole thing at night. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Old style engines. You can see that there's a whole big chunk on the back too that must have been a part of it. And wait a second. This? Ooh, that's just a little tiny cover. But this, this is all a part of it too. And this is a part of it. 
and I'm guessing that it mounted somehow across there that this side is different from that side so they had to add a lot of structure here is there anything moving across something we're not seeing that's a part of the but I definitely see like from those two attach points and there's three attach points over here although some of this could have been sensory attachments see this doesn't look like anything to do with landing gear I think this was just sensors had to be over here landing gear was mounted there but it still feels like there should be one more point over this way that looks like a piece of the original aircraft to lock the landing gear up that little latch up there that that's that locks this up probably grabs this right here when they modified this aircraft this this whole piece has been added this is all a part of this mod this chunk over here is where they mounted instrumentation and all you can see all these panels here done with the different this is this is done Lockheed style <laughs> this is uh, original manufacturer you know solid rivets and then here's all extra stuff that's filled in where the landing gear used to go up but it, 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 it's very much locked in the down position and you can see that would have been a landing gear door and the landing gear would have gone that way and instead they got another landing gear right here that they borrowed from an actual space shuttle that when they were finished they put back on a different space shuttle that's crazy but true the things you see at Moabi Air and Spaceport.